and to the learning lads, today I'm showing with you our science that we're doing for the new school year 2019-2020. It's Earth Science and Astronomy for the Grammar Stage by Elemental Science. I thought I'd do a quick flip through for you and then also show you the additional books um, that I picked to go along with the curriculum. Okay, so Elemental Science is a PDF or a printed version um, that you can get online. I'll leave the website below. I did get the PDF version. So it comes with the teacher guide, the student workbook and the quizzes. I do also purchase the extras, which are the colouring pages and the lap book. Um, pages. Now I did actually go ahead and make all of these lap books for demonstration purposes for my daughter so that she can look through them before she makes her own. There are some required books with the curriculum and I'll show you the list in a second but I picked Earth Science for Every Kid and the Astronomy for Every Kid. As you, as you can see this is a used copy but you know, it's still fully <laughs> perfectly working just fine. Um, we have the Who Was Neil Armstrong, Planet Earth, which is part of the Basher Science. Uh, I love these books, they are so fun, um, perfectly uh, grade appropriate with the reading. So my daughter will definitely be able to read that with me and the pictures are just so fun. So that one is the Planet Earth one. This is the Astronomy And then there is the glow in the dark constellations field guide for young stargazers. Okay, so here is the table of contents. So for planet Earth unit, there are six weeks. Weather unit, again, six weeks. Rocks and fossils unit, six weeks. And the solar system unit is 12 weeks. Stars and space are also six weeks. Again, it's very thorough with lots of introduction pages, which I've just skipped past, but it basically um, goes through the author's um, theory when she was uh, producing the curriculum, her ideas, and it's really, um, it gives you lots of ideas yourself, so it's definitely worth reading through, and it also has some really good links in too um, for further investigations, so for example, to her podcast and other resources. Now, in terms of encyclopedias, um, we can choose from the Basher Science Planet Earth for grades 1 through 2, or the Discovery Science Planet Earth Best for 2, 3, 4. I decided to go for the Basher Science Planet Earth because I thought it was really colourful and my daughter would really enjoy it. Weather, again, it's the Basher Science Planet Earth or the Discover Science Weather. Um, I went through, again, that's the same box, I chose the Basher Science Planet Earth. Rocks and Fossils, it's in National Geographic Rocks and Minerals, or the Discover Science Rocks and Fossils. I decided to go for the National Geographic because my daughter really enjoys those books. Then for Astronomy, the Solar System is Basher Science Astronomy, or DK First Space Encyclopedia. We do have um, the Basher Science Astronomy for that option. And then at the bottom, the stars and space exploration tools are Glow in the Dark Constellations, which is the book I showed you a moment ago, and also the Neil Armstrong biography, which again, I also showed you a moment ago, who was Neil Armstrong. For the scientific demonstration books, you need Janice Van Cleve's Earth Science for Every Kid and her astronomy. Again, those I showed you before. Again, as she did with the previous biology study, which I showed you, for each unit, she'll give you additional books that you can consider to purchase or used or from the library. Um, there are tons of really good ones this year. Um, last year, they were all excellent too. Um, but because this is our book year, I did tend to um, get purchase or get used a few more than I did the previous year. Um, so I do have a little pile here to show you. Um, but it's because it's our book year and some of the titles were just so fun and I thought we could, they could add to our reading curriculum because a lot of the options are uh, either a, a grade level or just below grade level so she can perfectly fine to read all of those herself which obviously adds to the independent learning and um, part of our plan for our curriculum with regards to notebooking here and, and everything so she can use those books for multiple purposes which I'm really excited about. What I love about the guide is it's so thorough, it tells you exactly what books you need for each specific unit, it lays the units out for you, it gives you a list of supplies that you need to purchase, um, they also have poems to memorise which my daughter really enjoyed um, learning with the biology unit um, and it is just fantastic, I love it. Here are your supplies that you are needing for this particular unit and it also has vocabulary, words and definitions. We I made them into vocabulary cards last year, um, but this year I think I'm going to um, give her the um, 
the list herself and then she can um, write them out at, uh, to keep within her science notebook. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to show you week one Planet Earth lesson plans. It tells you your supplies, what the demonstration is meant to to um, help with or understand, the instructions and explanations. So you've got your, sorry, I keep knocking the camera. You have got which book you need. So for your Janice Van Cleve's Earth Science, you've got your lab report, which tells you it, which page it is in the student notebook. Um, You've got your reading assignment, so it tells you what pages you need to read, discussion questions that you can ask once you've done your reading, and then your additional books are there. Now, there are a few different ways you can do your assignments. You can do a narration page. You can do the lap booking um, options. Then again, you've got your vocabulary. Your first word is the continent. And then she has multi-book projects and activities. So for this one, you're making a model of planet Earth, and optional is a model of the moon. If you purchase the colouring pages, it'll tell you what pages do you have for colouring. And then we've got uh, a map here to label with the continents on. There is a recipe that you could make with Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, she's also giving you a continent song. And then the quiz uh, answers are at the bottom if you chose to administer the quiz. She also offers you two sa uh, sample schedules, so a two-day and a five-day one. And then the process continues throughout for the rest of the units. And you do have your glossary at the back, uh, which includes the definitions of all the vocabulary words. It also ha does have additional pages as well. So make sure you scroll to the back. Constellation cards. And this is the life cycle of a star, phases of the moon. So she has additional principles at the back for you as part of the teacher's guide that you'll need for the lessons. Okay, now onto the student workbook. Um, I did bind my daughters this year. We have used them different ways. We've used lap booking, we have used notebooking. This year I did uh, have hers bound, I bound it myself actually, um, for her guide as well as my own. Split up in the same way for each of the different units. Now this is your model of planet Earth, what, your, what I learned, experiment sheet. There's a volcano one. These are all your narration pages. So if you want to do the narration option, then that is here for you. And then each experiment has a lab report for you to complete with your student. And it continues the same way throughout. Narration pages, lab reports. For each, pictures, diagrams for each of the units. And then at the back, you do have the vocabulary words that I went, mentioned. So last year I did, as I said, um, make cards. I'll just show you them actually. So last year I decided to put these into our pocket charts. Um, so this was marine mammal. And then I put the explanation on the back, um, which we used in our pocket chart. But this year, with it being in second grade, I think we're going to do it this way. I'll either um, write for her or we'll both write or she'll write it herself, depending on how she's feeling. Um, for each of those and then she can colour the picture in too because it's all bound so it'll be nice to keep all the poems, memorisation are all in the back of the student workbook as well now the quizzes, I bound them too um, we didn't do the quizzes last year um, I'm not sure this year we'll, I've got them all here ready so we'll see if uh, she wants to do them but all the quizzes are in here ready to go and as I said I did buy the colouring pages which were in addition and um, she really enjoyed doing these last year um, so I'm definitely um, happy to have those again and they're great to keep as well, memories. And finally the lap book. So I did make them ahead of time for demo uh, purposes, um, but they are really fun. Um, all lift the flap, there's some, um, oh, there's a range of different options. If that one was the rocks and fossils, this one is space. This is a concertina type one. This one has all the little cards in there. There's Neil Armstrong. So she can have fun making all the lap books. The solar system one, this is much bigger. Actually did two together for that one. And then this one is the planet Earth. I like these little flip books.
and the reason that I do a demonstration model is she's only six so it helps her to um helps her to see where everything goes and then it becomes fun and not too overwhelming when she's having to figure out where she's supposed to put everything and how it's all supposed to look at the end um, so those are the demonstration lap books okay so as I did before I'll show you the two piles of new as in new tours they could be used some of them are um for us this year and then pre-existing ones that we already have just to give you lots of options um so this is look inside our world osborne tons of flaps really fun definitely recommend that one the story of planet earth uh, the shine a light secrets of our earth this is absolutely fantastic i love these shine a light books um, so you just pop a torch behind the page um, and then the image is shown through on the other side. My daughter is so fascinated by them. The Ladybird First Fabulous Facts Planet Earth. This is a great book. Um, see Inside Planet Earth with over 80 flaps. My daughter absolutely adores these flap books and she actually really likes making her own now too. <laughs> um, look Inside Space. We have a family guide to the night sky. I did also get her a little um, astronomy journal um, that she can use as well. The Osborne First Encyclopedia of Space. We have been so excited to get to our astronomy unit. Um, the Osborne Big Book of Stars and Planets. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this book. If I can actually even open it. It's one of those ones that folds out even more. It's just absolutely fantastic. The lift the flap questions and answers about space. And see inside weather and climate. Okay, so with the books that I chose to get new used um, on sale this year, I actually decided to get a lot of them that were um, either at her reading level or just below her reading level so that she'd be able to read them herself um, because I want to really incorporate notebooking into our homeschool this year because I think it's such an amazing way for children to control their learning. Um, so that's why you'll see a lot of ones that are um, not necessarily read aloud, but although I do have a couple of those, which I'll show you in a minute. So this is the Magic School Bus Inside the Earth. Again, this obviously was used. You can see someone's written in it, but... It's fine, it's just the name or something. Um, too bad, uh, this one is A Magic School Without This World. This was used as well. It did have a few stains on this one, um, which was a little bit disappointing because the, it, I think it said um, good condition, but those sometimes I, it said good condition and been like new, so I can't complain. So I just put a bit of plastic over it because I did try to get it off, but it wouldn't. Um, but the book is absolutely fine inside. And we love the Magic School Bus. We have Earth Steps. A Rock's Journey Through Time. Uh, this obviously is not a reader. The Story of Life Evolution. I just adore these books. The pictures are absolutely fantastic. And this is perfect for notebooking. Um, it just gives you so much inspiration just looking at it. And she can obviously try and uh, either draw or trace some of those pictures. Uh, let's go rock collecting. So these are the Let's Read and Find Out Science um, books. Um, I've been ha I had a ton of these on my wish list and just kept watching them until they went down in price. Um, and they are fantastic. Perfectly um, eight for her to read herself. And then, as I said, for her to do some notebooking on. I can't remember if I showed you this one or not. Uh, the moon. Um, hello. Got a visitor. <laughs> the water cycle at work. This is a great one. He's doing a whole with us. Uh, planets in our solar system. The sky is full of stars. Digging up dinosaurs. I don't think this is actually for science <laughs> uh, this year. I think this is just uh, something I bought because my daughter's into dinosaurs, but it's just managed to find its way into that pile. But there we go, taking <laughs> old dinosaurs. Uh, what will the weather be? I'm going to move that one actually. 
uh, the cloud book. I really like the National Geographic uh, books. This one is Volcanoes. Uh, Feel the Wind. I really like these one small square books. This is the Night Sky. This is the first one we have of this series, but they do tons more. So I definitely want to invest some more in these ones. Uh, this is more read aloud, but they are absolutely beautiful. So I definitely want to get a few more of those um, when they're on sale. Um, down comes the rain. Floating in space. Uh, the Magic School West presents, sorry about the glare, our solar system. There's no place like space. Um, all about our solar system. Uh, let's read and find out earthquakes. Uh, what is the moon like? Some great pictures in this one. The National Geographic Kids Storms. Magic School Bus presents our solar system. That's the same one as earlier. I must have just put it in the wrong pile. Uh, tornado alert. Mission to Mars. I like that that one has real life pictures in as well as um, the, there's the International Space Station. This is a gorgeous book. 13 planets, the latest view of the solar system from National Geographic Kids. I love this one. It's gorgeous. Um, oh, say, can you say what the weather's today? These are always fun. Uh, what makes night, day and night? How mountains are made. Uh, rocks and minerals. Fossils tell of long ago. Actually, no, I think the dinosaur one was um, for this particular unit. I think it was part of the rocks and fossils, which would make sense. The sun, our nearest star. What uh, Sunshine makes the seasons. Uh, where does the garbage go? That would be a fun one. And volcanoes. I decided to get all the Sassafras Science Adventures Volume 4 Earth Science Volume 5 Geology. There is a space one in production. If that is done, then I'll definitely add that at some point during the year. Um, but I'm not sure when it's actually going to be uh, produced, um, published, I should say. Um, this is an actual curriculum by itself. Um, she has this on her website as an, uh, from Elemental Science. Uh, Paige Hudson is the author of Elemental Science, as well as um, Johnny Congo. So she has this as another option um, as a curriculum. But I really like the one we're using. But I did really like the idea of these books because um, they're adventure stories. Uh, the, the two... Um, I think the twins go on lots of different adventures around the theme of earth science and geology. So I did decide to get them. We, I haven't bought any of the curriculum that goes along with them because, as I said, we're just using them as read-alouds. Um, but it's another option for you to consider for elemental science if you're wanting a literature-based program. I'll let you know how we find them because, obviously, we haven't read any of them yet. Um, but those are the two read-alouds I added. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you've got any questions about elemental science, let me know. We have used it from the beginning. Um, so from preschool all the way. Um, take care and I'll see you in the next video. And Jay says bye.